Got a game against Savvy Seal. He's a very good player overall. His kickoff especially just destroys mine. Right here, we're just fighting off for the boost. Kind of awkward. Right here, I noticed that he was on the wall. Let's, let's go back for a second. He's on the wall right here. As you can see, there's really no way he can hit the ball in, this, in a way that it goes in the, on my goal. So I just challenged here and it allowed for me to get a breakaway. Even though he had the boost, I was still able to do it because he mispositioned himself. Again, his kickoff is very strong, but I, I started decided to bump him here because he did have the advantage and he had won the kickoff. He could have scored it, but let's go back again. By bumping him, I pushed him away from the ball, obviously, and I was able to take the open goal. He could have had a shot there, so... He didn't win the kickoff again. He's a very solid kickoff. Right here was a bad challenge by me. I should have hit it more towards the corner of the map rather than at the wall. He does miss the shot though, so I am able to recover. Another bad challenge by me. I should have gotten a much better hit on this. Another bad challenge by me. He just destroyed me in that 50-50. And he gets a goal from it. Right here I decided to carry it around because if I hit it to mid then he would have been able to take a shot. I would have been out of position since it was a wall hit. So right here, let's go back. Let's watch this from his view. I basically, what I did was fake a fake. He thought that I was gonna dribble it slow and keep mind gaming, but instead I picked up the speed as soon as he challenged and blasted it to the other side so that he could not hit the ball. It's a really good tactic and it's not very used, so it's not known that much. Right here, he just beat me on the 50-50. Another bad kickoff by me. I actually sort of won the kickoff on this, sim simply because my car was closer to the ball. And I was able to take the boost and ball control. Again, here I fake to fake, make him think that I was gonna dribble it slow, and then just pick it right up to the other side. I did challenge here, but it was not a good challenge because he had the boost and he was closer to the ball. He did win the kickoff. I should have just went back to goal here because he did have full boost again. And then he just got an open shot because I had no boost and made a bad challenge. So right here again, I should be more central on the kickoff. And then again, I just passed it right to him. Let's go back. I should have, as I lost the kickoff, I did go back and I picked up the boost bed. I should have took it, taken it to the right side of my goal, to the other corner. That way he could not gain control because he did take the boost so he had better chance of scoring. I should have just taken it to the other side. That way he could not take it from me. Then I could get boost as well. Here I'm trying something new. And it did work because his kickoff is really fast, so by going slow, I was able to hit the ball on a rebound essentially. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't in, so I decided. Here was a really bad challenge. I thought he was going to hit it at first, but he was actually going for boost. Just bad decision making on my part. So right here on this kickoff, my USB screwed my controller up and the input just got wrecked. But 
this Savvy Seal is a really good guy, so he did save it because he knew it was like in an unfair goal or whatever. So props to Savvy. I gave the ball back to him because being a gentleman, you know. Right here, that was a bad challenge by me. I did recognize that he was faking it, but I thought he was going to late pop it. He did not. It was well played on his part. I just got lucky that it bounced down. Watch this from his view. Yeah, I should have just went straight for the ball rather than going above it. Luckily, I did get the save, though. Stole the boost just so that he couldn't get it. And then, again, I fake to fake and just take it to the side so he can't gain possession. And then, this is just like freaking squishy muffins, you know? Casually muffining it up. Right here, I got a lucky kickoff on him. Not sure what happened. I just went to the corner so that he couldn't force it away from me. And then again, I faked a fake and did a fast flick. As soon as I picked the ball up, I flicked it over him. Let's watch it from his view. You can see he thinks I'm going to dribble it slow. And then I just pop it up with a flick. That's a perk of, a, that's a perk of the Dominus, actually. You can pick it up at any time and flick it immediately because it's flat. Right here I hit it to the corner so that he couldn't get a fast shot on me. He did get the boost though, but I was able to get back and get some as well. Right here I tried to fake him, but he challenged well, so I had to hit it away from the goal. And then I should have challenged it better there. He challenged early, so I could have either done one of two things. Let's go back. I could have just let the ball stay and go back, or I could have popped it in a different manner. For example, just double jumping straight up so that it would have went over, or at least I could have 50 50 it. Then right here I hit it to the corner so he could not gain possession. Missed the boost, but it's alright because I still have possession and I blasted over him. Right here, this is another good tactic to use. I want you guys to watch this. Okay, so you can see that I'm coming off of the wall, and I land right here. As soon as I land, I know the ball is bouncing upwards, because I landed at such a time where the ball is contacting the ground. And then, as soon as the ball comes off of the ground, I double jump into it, so that it clears upwards. And he didn't expect it because I had just landed, but it's a really good tactic, because it's fast. Alright, let's go back to normal speed. Right here I hit it to the corner so that it wouldn't bounce out to mid. I could keep possession. Then again, I just screwed up. I should have read my opponent better. I didn't know he was flying on the wall. And then he scored it because I passed it right to him again. Now let's rewind this. What I should have done right here was either went off the wall went down from the wall and just power shot it, or I could have used a powerful hit rather than just flopping into it. I won the kickoff here because... Now, by now, I realize that his kickoff is mainly central to the ball. You can see that he contacts it in the middle and he's jumping from the right side to the left side so he has a lot of power and it's a diagonal flip with the octane the octane the corner part is the most powerful part and it gives him a lot of power but right here I countered his force by going to the same side of the ball and pushing it this way so that way I can use the front of my car and kind of like just be basically a wall and let him do all the force. Just push it over there. And I did win it. I did not score it though. 
what I should have done right here was to just dribble it, get a better touch, better touch, because he was coming back kind of slower than he should have. Right here, I challenged it, and I kind of got a bad dribble, but he was there to defend it, so it wouldn't really have mattered if I did shoot it. Right here, I went up just in case he was going to fly for it to ensure that I had possession. And then again, I faked a fake. Not necessarily, though. You can see that I just kind of stay there. So right here, he is covering the goal in a, like a, it's, he's blocking most of it, but he wasn't re able to react in time because I did another one of those Dominus perks where you can pick the ball up at any time and flick it over. So I, I just got a fast break on him essentially. You can see as soon as I pick it up, I double jump into it, that way it flicks. Again, I tried to do a funky kickoff to make sure that he couldn't predict it, as well as it was late so I could just be a backboard against his force. Right here, okay. This is where the hearing part of the game comes into play. I heard his boost right there. You can hear him boosting and he's coming towards me, so I had to challenge it on the wall here because he could have exploded me and got an open goal. And then again, he tried to kill me. So right here, most people will just double jump straight into this, but by going upwards on the wall, I was able to exert a force that pushed it forwards and in a straight way, so that way it was a like efficient clear for the amount of boost that I actually had. And right here, he just jumped too early. I didn't have any boost, and he should have recognized that, so he would have been able to see the low, slow shot. Again here, I tried to counter his kickoff by being a backboard and going a bit slower so that his force would push onto my car. And then, this was a really tough angle. Let's, let's watch this from his view. I want to see what happens. Again, I don't think he expected this, but he should have went straight back to goal just because I had possession and the ball was going powerfully. It was going supersonic, as you can see by the blue lines behind it. So it would have been better for him to go straight back to goal, because when he jumped, he wasn't able to turn back and save it. Right here, I tried doing something new. It did not work. And then I pushed it to the corner so that he can't gain possession and shoot it. He makes a bad challenge here. And he uses a lot of boost, but he is able to get another one. Right here, I'm just stalling because, as you can see, there's only 15 seconds left. I have no boost. And I do another one of those Dominus perks. Where you can pick it up anytime and flick it. It's just really unexpected, and it pushes the ball forwards rather than upwards. And then right here, he forfeited. GG, Savvy. That was actually a really good game.